Do you want to be rich and own these supercars like me? All you have to do is click. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just a way to bait you guys in. And if you guys see those videos on your For You page, that's not the way life works. I know you guys see that I have supercars and everyone's always like, how do I get money? How do I make money like you? How'd you do it? Did you come from a rich family? Nope. Did you have anyone supporting you? Did you go to college? Nope. I lived in a roach infested apartment in LA. I know it sounds like every other rich person's story in the fucking world. But if you guys actually want to be successful and don't want excuses for life anymore, just listen. I don't sell a course and I haven't even made a dollar off of this page ever. But I just want to reach young boys out there who were like me growing up who didn't have any guidance. As you guys see, I have all these supercars of the house, all the stuff that you guys see, the materialistic things that I would spend my money on like a dumbass. And yes, there's people out there that say, you know, don't, don't spend your $2 on a cup of coffee, save it, invest, all these things. That's not the way I did it. I graduated high school at 17. I moved to college, went to New York, uh, dropped out of NYU because it wasn't for me, moved to LA, lived in my cousin's apartment on the couch in the living room where I lived for three years as I chased a dream that everyone said would never come true. Fresh out of high school, I realized that there is literally nothing you can lose at 17, 18, just giving it a shot. So what did I do? I did just that. I started daily vlogging in high school when I was 16, and I did it all the way up until I was 19 years old, and I found very little success in it. But in every part of the journey that I had out here living in LA, I picked up a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of thing about managing, a little bit of things about the industry, growth, clout, whatever you want to call it. This is right when Musical.ly died and got bought out by TikTok. The app started to become more and more popular and I had just quit daily vlogging after three years. I took a break because I was just, I wasn't making money on it. I was very, barely scraping by living in LA while working a full-time job of doing, I did Postmates like eight to 12 hours a day. And I was living in a shitty apartment on a couch and I was just like, should I go to college? Should I go back? What am I doing? I'm 20 now. What am I doing with life? Then TikTok became a thing. I networked really well. I was doing photography, videography, plus Postmates, anything to make money. And that's when Hype House and TikTok and insane growth. And I learned about the business. I started doing brand deals. 90% of the money that I have made has been all off of YouTube. That platform, if you learn how to get brand deals for it properly and you can get to a certain view count along with AdSense, you will make so much money. But yeah, it took me five years to make it out here in LA. Terrible first four years, terrible, but it worked. And I think everyone wants to get rich quick. It doesn't work like that. It takes years of doing something you're passionate about for the right reasons and then learning the business end of it. And my biggest mistake that I made first that other people could learn from is I worked too hard. I didn't work smart. Now I've found a way to balance both. So if that helps some people out there, I, I hope it does. If not, you know, I can, I'll go fuck myself.